it, I, mean, I think about my life and um, gave myself quite a hard task in being human, like in, in trying to manage my mind. You know, maybe um, for a day feeling really happy, everything's going really well on it, you know, like that. And then, or maybe a week, or maybe a few months even, you know, where it feels like, yeah, I'm really like rocking this life thing. <laughs> and then you wake up one morning, or it could just happen in the afternoon, any time at all, anxiety comes up. <laughs> I was like, oh God, hang on a minute, I was doing really well. <laughs> hang on, what have I done wrong? What, what have I, who's to blame? Surely someone's to blame for this, this feeling. What's it about? What does it mean? Okay, I'm going I'm to look into it. I'm going to think about it. Or more, also my strategy often be, I'll just uh, avoid it. I'll probably go and do something that makes me feel nice. Like uh, go and see my friends or maybe, or maybe talk about it with my friends and hopefully they'll give me a solution. Or I'll um, have a drink, go to a party. <laughs> Go on holiday, come to paradise, that will get rid of it, surely. You know, leaving the cold of Bristol think, you know, and thinking, in India, everything will be great. <laughs> when I'm out of the drizzle, there'll be sunshine, because sunshine, that makes us happy, doesn't it? You know, like the bad weather, that makes us unhappy, sunshine makes us happy. That's quite a well-known one. And, um, you know, just all of these attempts to, well, firstly, just to believe that I can in some way control, alter and amend the flow of my mind and to have that to be a consistent state of well-being will be reached at some point. If I just get to that thought or feeling or this situation, then all will be well. If I have that experience, <laughs> whatever it might be, the romance or the peak experience, I mean, I climbed, I climbed in the Himalayas, I went trekking, got to the peak bit, it was like Annapurna base camp. So like really high up, really you know, like in terms of peak experience, <laughs> you're really up there. Honestly, I felt I've never been so moody. I was having a horrible time. <laughs> and my poor, friend, boyfriend at the time, it was just like, I was up there just like, mm. you know, there's the Himalayas, like, bright blue sky, amazing, you know, just, wow, this is incredible. I'm just like, I'm in such a horrible time. <laughs> you know? It's just like, you can't win, you just cannot win, we cannot control our minds, so we just give up, blissfully give up for a short moment. We recognise what's at the basis of all our thoughts, emotions and experiences, we recognise what's shining brightly right here, pervading all experience without exception, equally, evenly. In every single moment, we get to know it in a, in a short moment, we recognise it and we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence. We just stop thinking for a moment and notice what remains. Openness, clarity, alertness, cognizance, the power to know, open intelligence, shining brightly. Thoughts, emotions, sensations, data streams, they continue flowing naturally, streaming naturally in open intelligence. Inseparable like the colour blue in the sky, inseparable like the breeze in the air the data streams, the dynamic energy of our intelligence. Now the choice we have moment by moment, it's either to, I could see for myself what I was doing all my life until I met the Balance You training was just describing everything that was going on. Describing, describing, so anxiety comes up or what else? Let's go for anxiety. You're not feeling settled. That sense of something's missing. Okay, then then we go into the, the options of indulging it, looking for what's missing, going into the story, elaborating, you know, trying to find something in this momentary appearance in open intelligence, 
or we try to replace it with something better that makes us feel better, that we think there's well-being if I just replace this, or by avoiding it completely, doing something else, because there'll be more well-being over there. Everything in attempt just to find us well-being, just to find open intelligence. And then we have a new choice. It was a new choice for me, and that was to rely on open intelligence as the data stream arises, in the data stream, in whichever thought, emotion or experience, recognize <coughs> that open intelligence is present, inseparable from that data stream. Our, our thoughts, emotions, our data streams don't have an independent nature outside of open intelligence. We see they're completely indivisible. And we show ourselves this the practice given through from Balanced View, which is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until open intelligence is obvious. Because it's already the case. The basis of our mind, fundamental open intelligence, is already the case, shining forth all data streams so naturally. And so we, we rest. Rest for a short moment. Rest openly. And then we have this amazing opportunity. We see, really, really see how beneficial we are and how beneficial our experience is. Not limited to strict definitions of our experience that seem to be so real. That was my entire, you know, that's just how I lived my life, who I am, what I can do and can't do, um, you know, description of what other people are thinking about me, what that means, um, what that means for like my capacity in the world and everything. It's just defined by this constant narrative about the world describing it. And then to see that I can rest for a short moment, allow the data stream to be as it is, and there's a clear seeing, not focused in on the data streams, but resting as open intelligence, resting openly. We see the data stream arises and resolves on its own, leaving no trace, like the flight path of a bird in the sky, or like a line drawn in space. We show this to ourselves again and again in short moments. And um, in my experience, it's brought about such an incredible, basically everything that I've been looking for ever, <laughs> to put it in a nutshell. <laughs> How phenomenal is that? Well-being, I see, is right here. There's definitely great things to do. <laughs> and knowing what to do and how I want to use my life is going to come from resting deeply as open intelligence, training up my fundamental true nature, rather than being limited to oh, so many ideas and beliefs about myself and the world seeing clearly, openly, open-minded, open-hearted. That's our capacity as human beings. And really to contribute powerfully and beneficially in every single moment. That's what our data streams are. They're the fuel <laughs> to be of benefit. They're beneficial potency. And we show that to ourselves in relying on open intelligence, recognizing open intelligence for short moments and training up. And. Um, there's a, for me, the real start of it was the 12 empowerments training, which I completed in 2008. It was the first time I had just taken such a clear look at my life, such a clear look. And really to start to see that all of the data streams I'd taken to be so true and so limiting, fears and resentments and that seemed to keep me and the world so boxed up and so limited, just just loosened up, relaxed into their true nature as open intelligence, didn't, didn't take the attention so much anymore. And um, I see receiving this education, you know, coming across this training has been the very greatest gift I could ever receive to receive the introduction to open intelligence and to know how to rely on that moment by moment and receive all the incredible support from the Balanced View training to really bring this about in full fruition. It's available to everyone everywhere in the world, completely available. <laughs>